everybody. Um, so I want to make a video of this thing I got the other day. Uh, it's a review video. I really like this product, okay? It's uh, the Bafex. I call it Bafex. B-A-F-X products. OBD2 dis Diagnostic Interface. So, um, this diagnostic interface is really helpful and actually helped me out quite a bit uh, last couple of days. So, I ordered this and it came uh, in the mail. It was off Amazon. It's about $20 or so. $21.99, I think, is what I ended up paying because I'm a Prime member. Uh, it didn't really cost me anything. So, but I wanted to show you how it works and I wanted to show you like what you can read with it and uh, and then tell my story about how it worked for me. So, uh, first off, I have a 96 Chevrolet Caprice Classic. This is the car I'm sitting in right now. It's the only car I own uh, with uh, the OBD2 system on it. Everything else I own is 25 years old or older. Um, and I tend to like driving older cars because I feel like they're more reliable and they're easier to work on. So um, this car uh, set for about two years. I say more reliable because uh, it's probably a misnomer. But anyway, this car set for about two years. And uh, the reason it set for about two years was because it had a check engine light on. And the check engine light was throwing the P1441 code, which is purge during non-purge. It uh, has something to do with the EVAP system. I still haven't pinpointed exactly what it was, but um, this I was hoping this would tell me exactly what it was and what was going on. And it, and it really hasn't, but I know it's the EVAP system, so um, I kind of already knew that. But what this did was it allowed me to get the car inspected. Uh, now, in the state of Texas, when you have a car inspected, you... Um, are able to uh, get the car inspected with only you you have to have all of your systems have to be completed except for two so if you have two that are not ready and the check engine light is off then your car will pass inspection uh, most of your OBD2 um, diagnostic interfaces or whatever you want to call them are not going to tell you which systems are ready uh, this one on the other hand gives you a ton of information and it really helped because I it was a, a real-time monitoring system so I wanted to show you guys exactly how that worked. Anyway, um, so first, you need to open the box and pull it out, which I've already done. And then you have to connect it to your um, to your interface. So uh, if you look just down here, uh, you're going to see the uh, OBD2 port. And so you connect that, see, you connect it into uh, your OBD2 port. There it is. Okay. So if you look... You can see that the uh, the red light is on, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. Uh, the next thing you do is you start the car. All right. So with your um, phone, you have to download uh, the Torque Pro app. And let me see here. So there's the Torque Pro. All right. So. Um, it's gonna it's gonna automatically when you bring it up it will automatically put the uh, turn on your Bluetooth and it should automatically connect once you have it connected now in order to connect it if you if you haven't had it connected you're gonna go to this little uh, gear here in the corner right there you are press on that go to settings you're gonna go to uh, OBD2 adapter settings and then you're gonna go to choose Bluetooth device and it'll pull up and all you do is you click right here on OBD2, okay? So um, that's actually uh, really helpful. Now, what kind of information does it give you? On a 96 Caprice, there isn't a whole lot of information, but it does give you a ton as far as I'm concerned. So there's a, there are multiple windows, and you can add uh, displays. So if I choose, uh, let's say, a dial needle, I can choose um, all of this is... 0 to 100. Green is what is active. Uh, you can't do an absolute throttle position. It shows you, you know, your acceleration sensors and all this other stuff. Um, actual engine torque, air fuel ratio, which is not going to do, won't do ambient temperature, uh, won't do barometric pressure. There was, I wanted to see if there was a something in here for uh, so transmission temperature, which I wish it had one of those. Uh, trip average, trip distance. Turbo pressure control. I don't have a turbo. Volumetric efficiency. I have no idea what that means. Voltage is uh, 13 volts, so that's not bad. But um, let's see if we can find one in here that shows you. So, um, zero volts bank one. So let's go to zero volts bank two. We'll do a small one, and then it allows you to, to 
place it anywhere and it shows you exactly what is going on with your O2 sensor. I don't know if that's a good re good reading or not, but um, anyway, you can delete it, uh, delete display, and uh, so it, I mean it has a pretty good pretty good set of, of values. Here it shows the revs, and if I rev the engine, you can hear it. And then uh, you have accelerator, you have revs, you have your throttle position. So you can see as I put a little gas on, it has speed. Shows your vacuum. I don't know what the proper vacuum is. It shows your coolant temperature here. This is a time clock and allows you to um, to run your zero to sixty, your zero to hundred kilometers, your quarter mile time, your eighth mile time, and your horsepower. Uh, I did that the other day or yesterday, and and uh, it put down a sort of impressive time to me, which is eight point seven seconds with two fat guys in the car because uh, I had a friend with me. And then you see here, it's got the the uh, emissions readiness. And that shows you all the systems that are complete. So um, I can clear the codes as well. There's a fault code right there. I scan for the fault code. I do have a check engine light on right now. Um, and see there it pulls up the P1441. You click on it and it gives you uh, what P1441 is. So it offers a web lookup and then you can close it. Now I can clear the codes. Um, let's see, close. Uh, clear faults on ECU. And you'll see that the uh, when I hit OK, OK, you'll see that the check engine light goes out. So uh, yes, I do have a little oil light. Um, it says clearing fault codes may take some time, 47% uh, or whatever. Sorry, gotta scratch my nose. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, fault log manager. And of course, it pulls up. It has a map view. It will show you all of your trips, uh, your latest trip. So here was my last trip uh, last night, which was uh, from Irving back to my house. And then um, it has test results, which it doesn't, uh, my car doesn't uh, actually uh, do the test results or whatever. And then, uh, let's see, has graphing, which you can do a line chart on anything uh, and select your sensors. And then it does, uh, let's see, it uh, just says get plugins, which not sure what that does. I haven't explored everything just yet, but um, I do know that it helped me out quite a bit. So that's pretty much it. I really like it for $20, $21.99. Um, it really ended up being right there. Okay. It ended up being uh, very, very helpful to me. So I was able, you saw on the one screen, I was able to, um, to see what systems were complete and what systems weren't complete. And I was able to take it to the emissions place and get it tested. It passed. Uh, and this is certainly a way around. This gives me the ability to get around uh, waiting for the codes to just... Waiting to see whether or not the light comes on or whatever. So uh, the car's back on the road, which is what I like. And this is a great little piece. And, and I would recommend it to anybody. So like I said, if, if um, I got it on Amazon, $21.99. I was a Prime member, so it was free. I can't say enough about it. I'm impressed at this point, and I like running with it. I like driving with it on the car. So, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment in the you know comment section below, and let me know. That's it. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much.